Image sells for a day. Talent needs direction. And ideas only impact the world if there's a solid plan behind them. At just 19, one South African woman has already learned these lessons and is motivating other young people to think big, work hard and make a difference. Hey Insider SA, my name is Levi and welcome to my home and my world. I'm a creative entrepreneur, a social change maker and a conversation strategist and basically I aspire to be a strong female voice in Africa who really seeks to impact change, specifically in youth empowerment as well as women empowerment. Because I am a full-time student and I basically work full-time, it's difficult to balance both of those lives because when I'm at school, I am rushing to hand in assignments and then I have a test and then I have a class that I have to go to on campus. And then there will be days where I have to do both. So I'll take some classes in the morning and then rush to studio to film whatever we're filming. But it's fun. I feel fulfilled as a human being when I'm productive. Lirai has learned a wealth of practical wisdom from her business partner and mother, Jessica Narai Tandi, and they shared a few insights from their experience. I am a co-owner and co-director of African Talent Unearthed, ATU for short, and really we seek to facilitate the convergence of authentic African talent with global opportunity, but also equipping people with entrepreneurial skills. Being a mother of a creative and also being an entrepreneur myself, the idea was to teach her how to be an entrepreneur. And then for me, the best way of teaching her was that she sees me doing something practically. And that's how it started. We don't see talent as merely a source of entertainment, but we want to capitalize on its capacity to be a vehicle for nation building and self-development because that's really what talent and entertainment is. Now this was super exciting. As a mom uh, raising a, a girl child in this world, it was quite important that I begin with an end in mind because I could see that it's always been something that scares her a lot to say, where are you in three years? Where are you in five years? And in doing the end in mind, without having the details, you get to have an understanding that I need to be somewhere there and therefore what are the plans and the steps that I need to put in place into getting there. A money plan serves as a detailed map that shows you exactly where to spend your money, where to save, and for how long. I used to think, I've got a lot of money in the bank account. And then <laughs> when I looked at what all the expenses were, I was like, I'm actually broke as a human being because life has so many expenses and all of that. But what it helped me was planning financially. And I realized that when you plan financially, you're able to plan your life. I have aspirations of traveling the world. I have aspirations of being financially independent. But doing all of those things means making the savings. We came across an article, which was a Capitec article, remember? Mm -hmm. When it talks about financial planning, it was a nice practical way of saying, take your goals, and how do you then take your goals into the practicalities? And we sat down with the budgeting based on the article and how it was guiding us. Capitech provides tools, assistance, and inspiration, like through articles. I read the one on the one-year plan for your financial goals, and it really, for me, it puts into perspective how I need to do all of this, from short-term to medium-term to long-term. And so when I started at the beginning of the year budgeting my entire life, I had this tool that really helped me do it and crunch it down into pieces and essentially come up with the budget and the financial plan. It's allowing Lerai to live better each day. Like taking an afternoon with friend Mpo Nkwango at the Y Cook studio of Matapelo Muntu. Welcome. So, Pops, you'll be doing some lamb chops, but with a spin, some citrus into it. And then you'll be making some malva pudding. Once it's in the oven, it's going to be amazing. And we're going to put in some evaporated milk and then custard. Listen, this is my playground. I know what I'm doing. I'm ready. I am trusting you on this. 
when I was younger, I looked for a place to express myself creatively at home and I found that love in the kitchen. I loved the process of creating something from start to finish and then the look on my parents' faces when they actually enjoy what I've created. So it became my love language as well. 1000 Girls was a campaign that we started at the peak of lockdown, at the beginning of it. My friends and I weren't allowed to go to school anymore, no social interactions. And so we were interacting with each other virtually. And we said, what can we do to help? And we identified refugees as people in need. So we put our heads together. We said, how can we tap into our resources? And I can happily say that a year later, we successfully raised funds for 1,000 sanitary and hygiene packages for refugee women and children in Johannesburg. What I really admire the most about Larai is probably her ability to just focus. She's also very loving, very, very loving. And with that love, she was able to show me a different side to South Africa with 1,000 girls. She was able to bring me in into her heart and say, you know what, let's try to do this together. Let's try to make a difference together. Understanding the meaning of a life well lived this early in your career is such a head start. My final piece of advice for young people especially is to find that point where your passion and your purpose meet. Once you have that convergence, only beautiful things can happen, especially when you put the right planning into place, short term, medium term and long term. Living life to the fullest with a vision and plan for getting there, while practically committing to leave no one behind. That's how our youth will progress. Tell us your plan for how to live better and stand a chance to win a thousand rand. Simply reply to the competition post on the Insider Essays social media platforms using hashtag live better. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider Essay website. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.